Return to the Lord. Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of God's Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good evening, brothers and sisters, and those who are locked on to us. This is a Friday after Ash Wednesday. We just bow our heads, Jesus, in the gospel today. The fasting and the almsgiving and the prayer and the penance and the repentance and the Lent is a means to an end. And people didn't understand why they do what they did. They did it out of tradition, they did it out of root, they just did it. And Jesus told them categorically, you don't fast when I'm here. And they couldn't understand it. When you find God, especially in heaven, there is no need for fasting. There's no need for marriage. So people were doing things and they're not sure why they're doing. They were bowing to candles. They were, bow they were doing all kind of simi to me and they weren't sure what they were doing and why. The first thing we do is to recognize and we should know man of sin and we have an opportunity before we begin worship is to own to empty, that God may pour into a heart that is expandable. And a lot of us, it is not expandable because we are constricted with sin, bad worship, and um, the kind of idols we have that we put before God, and the way we treat people, we should fast from sin, fast from hurting people, fast from bad mouthing people. Not only from food and drink and abstinence, but people and the poor, we must, must be given the extras too. We bring sin against the human body because this body has so much a pull in it, concupiscence, a big word that comes from Adam and Eve walking away from God and then there was a whole set of lust and the body was 
preoccupied with sensual and possession and glory and honor and image and Facebook and Instagram and how I look and how people feel and, and we bring sin against creation together as church. We confess, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our Bow your heads, there is power at this liturgy, the highest form of Christian worship. Close your eyes. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, you be merciful to us. We seem to be coming out of this pandemic, inter-endemic. Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you. distractions, diversions, to focus on where God will be present in the word of God. We just bow our head and pray. Lord, show gracious favor to the works of penance that we have begun during this Lenten season, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity bodily flesh observances we undertake through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit with us to God's word. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, shout for all you are wood, raise your voice like a trumpet, proclaim their faults to my people, their sins to the house of Jacob. They seek me day after day, they long to know my ways, like a nation that wants to act with integrity and not ignore the law of its God. They ask me for laws that are just. They long for God to draw near. Why should we fast if we never see it? Why do penance if you never noticed? Look, you do business on your fast days. You oppress all your workmen. Look, you quarrel and squabble when you fast. Amen. And strike the poor man with your fist. Fasting like yours today will never make your voice heard on high. Is that the sort of fast that displeases me, a truly penitential day for men? 
hanging your head like a reed, lying down on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call fasting, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the sort of fast that pleases me? It is the Lord who speaks to break unjust fetters and undo the tongues of the youth. Amen. To let the oppressed go free and break every, every yoke. yoke. To share your bread with the hungry. Amen. And shelter the homeless poor. To clothe the man you see to be naked. Amen. And not turn from your own kin. Then will your light shine like the dawn and your wound be quickly healed over. Your integrity will go before you and the glory of the Lord behind you. Cry, and the Lord will answer. Call, and he will say, I am here. The word of the Lord. Just bow our heads, Isaiah, 700 years even before Jesus Christ was asking, what's the kind of fast you're doing? Why are you doing it? What is it all about if you're not dealing with the oppressed and you're breaking the fetters of the yoke of those who are paining and clothing the naked and what is fasting and Lent is about? Isaiah was very stern. Today you're going to hear Jesus a little sterner. We ask our psalmist to bless us. The response to the psalm, a humbled, contrite heart O oh God, you will not spurn. A Your humble, humble contrite, contrite heart, O oh Lord, oh God, you, you will not spurn. spurn. Amen. Have mercy on me, God, yes, in your Lord. kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. A response. A humble and contrite heart, heart. O oh God, you will not spurn. Yes. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? Response, a humble, contrite heart, O oh God, you will not spurn. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice is a contrite spirit. A humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. spurn. Amen. A humble, contrite, and contrite heart, heart, oh Lord, Lord you, you will, will not, not spurn. spurn. So we just bow our heads to prepare for the words of Jesus. Just keep ourselves quiet and prepare for the power of the word of Jesus. God speaking in human, total human, total divine, Jesus Christ. Please stand and welcome the gospel. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. But the words of my mind and my lips and my heart proclaim good news. John's disciple came to Jesus and they asked him, why is it that we and the Pharisees fast but your disciples do not fast? 
And Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come, the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. And then, and only then, they will fast. Good news, gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So church, we sit and we pray the word of God. So today, Jesus is being very stern because a lot of us do, especially in Catholic theology, in other theologies like in Pentecostal and others, their, their, their faith is a bit different, but we have a lot of what we would call simidimi, you know, in terms of candle and light and genuflection. And they have powerful meaning, but sometimes we do things and we don't know why we do it. Sometimes I see people genuflect and bow at the candle. At the, I don't know where, but they want to feel because they give a half. You know, and, you know, and we just in rote. And my grandmother had a, a chicken, a yard fowl, and we used to bake it at Christmas. Where we had a long time oven. Daniel, remember long time oven with the suited arm, with the kerosene. And the oven was small. You used to put the bread and thing inside it. And then the, the chicken couldn't fit because we used to grow the chicken whole year. So we used to cut the chicken in two put it in the oven to bake. And then when we get big and we get money, we bought a nice, well, a gas stove for the oven. And she kept, it. the oven was big, could take a turkey, and she kept on cutting the chicken in two. She didn't realize that she had a big oven and she didn't know why she was doing what she was doing. And the same reason today, a lot of people fasting out of tradition, people fasting for their own egotistical aggrandizement, people fasting as an end, and Jesus is saying, you don't know what you're fasting for. You're fasting to be intimate and to be in union and to be present with Jesus, to be with God. So if God is there, you should not be fasting. And you couldn't understand that you're comparing the, um, why John disciples fasting, not fasting, and they fasting. And, because Jesus was there, and Jesus says, the only time you will fast, really, is when I'm not there. And the only time I'm not there is after death after as ascension. And similarly, in heaven, there's no marriage. And similarly, in heaven, there's no need to fast because God is present. So you have to know why you do what you do. And um, fasting and abstinence are two different things. Fasting is that when you limit yourself on food and drink and behavior. So fasting is a limit. So you can have like one meal in the morning and none for the day, mid, um, a midday meal alone, to, um, Bread, and, bread and, 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 and biscuit alone, you know, it's a limitation on food and drink and behavior. Pope Francis says, yes, it's good to fast from food and drink, but you should also fast from sin. The first important thing is that you can't be giving up all this thing and you remain in a sinful attitude or lifestyle. It's better you regularize that and eat all and make the unlimitless with the food and the drink. So sometimes we give up I mean, we eat and meet, but we enter a relationship and or an event. You stay at home, you ain't get pay, you know, you, you, you know, you're supposed to go to school. So what matters most is that you please God first and foremost. So you fast from hurtful words, you fast from um, sadness, you, you fast from anger, you fast from bad mind. Sometimes I've given up for Lent, I need to share with you. Sometimes your mind twists into something and... Um, you want to say something bad about somebody, or think bad about somebody, or let your thoughts go bad. And it, you, 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 cognitively, you must immediately change it quick and say, at least for Lent, you try and practice that. I pray for Miss Ayers. I pray for, for Brandon. Because you cannot pursue those thoughts and do eat meat. So he's asking to fast from bitterness and grudges and selfishness. Well, somebody told me today, Father, fast from words. Oh God, that hard. Guys talk a lot. 
and also for your indulgence on social media and what is distracting you. Because the fasting must bring you in communion, must bring you in union in the presence of God. So you're doing all the external thing and you're not in the presence of God. It comes like you have a relationship with your, your wife, whoever, and you have an outside relationship, but you're pouring all kind of good things on her or on him. Doesn't make sense. Deal with infidelity, you know, and prefer not to give them flowers because you, you are faithful and you are in presence. So he's trying to tell you why you do what you do, and, and, and that relates to fasting. But abstinence now is when you refrain from a certain kind of Fasting is fasting from, a, from limiting your food and drink. But absence is a kind. I will not eat flesh. And Catholic um, devotion says we must not eat meat on a Friday because that's the day you died. You avoid flesh. So it's, it's, it's meant for a particular kind. So in, on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, we are called and obligatory to fast and abstain from meat. So the abstaining is a kind of, and the, the fasting is a limit of, in that sense. Who fast is people between 18 and 59, because in, um, including, excluding those who are sick, mentally, physically pregnant women, and those who are nursing mothers. So the church is very clear. You don't kill yourself fasting. Life is most important. So people over 60 and you're sick and whatever, at a certain age, you will, you will get dehydrated. It, it doesn't make sense. You're doing all of that, and your body not in a place of worship and for presence of God. Um, for abstinence, however, is anybody you're over 14. So the church has parameters and have reasons and why. You just don't fast and abstain arbitrarily. It must lead you to a space of pleasing to God. That's why um, he says today clearly, he says, what kind of fast are you giving? You're not giving it over to nothing because when you fast, you must, whatever you give up, whatever you abstain from, Whatever you gain from that must be given over and back to the poor. So you cannot fast from meat and you don't give the money you gain from the meat, from the chicken or whatever, to the poor. It's a pointless fast. You cannot fast from chicken and pick up steak because there's a cost. So what? The Pope advises is that when you go to the grocery and you buy a particular type of flour, rather than buy the high-grade flour, the gourmet flour, you buy a cheaper flour, and you, you solid out to the poor, and the money you gain from that, you put in a little kitty, put a little, a little money pan in your house, and you put that money there, put it in the collection mark for poor. Because if you don't do that, it's just pointless. He says, forget giving up unless it helps somebody else and the other more than yourself. It is pointless. It is useless. And no matter how much you deprive yourself, sleep on floor and eat ashes and you sigh whole length and appear holy, if you do not do it for the good of the other, Isaiah says, is a poor, you do nothing. I add this and we have a problem. It have much easier ways than to go to hell than wasteful fasting. So you're fasting and you're wasteful and you says, and it's wasteful, it's hell bound. It have, it's better to eat the meat and go to hell with a belly full rather than it's, you're depriving and you go to hell because it's not pointed towards the other because whatever you give up must be given over and given back to the other who is the poor. Sometimes you don't have to give up anything. Sometimes you have to pick up something. So you're giving up and giving up, but you should pick up Sunday worship. You should pick up praying more. You should pick up treating people better. So it's not only giving up, but picking up a virtue. Isaiah says, Lo, you fast, you carry your own pursuit, you have sour face, you're in sinful relationship, you're quarreling, and you have inside demon in your mind, you're oppressing workers. Do you call that fasting? And that is what Jesus was trying to clarify today. There's, it is a means to the end, and there's a reason for fasting. The fathers knew it very well. The motive is to find God, to be intimate with God. So you cannot genuflect on Good Friday because there's no tabernacle. You only genuflect in the church because the tabernacle has Jesus. But on Good Friday, when you come to Mass, no, there's no Mass on Good Friday. The only day in the whole universe, no Mass, is Good Friday because this is going to happen. But the tabernacles are empty in all the churches. So anytime you're passing a church, that is one day, you don't make the sign of the cross. And you don't genuflect because Jesus in the sacramental form is not present. So the Father in heaven sees secret. He sees our intention. 
not the attention. He sees your desire, if it's really, really intricate, to make reparation for sin. All this is to bring us ordered to be pleasing with God. And the fasting, when it is done, when Jesus is there, is ludicrous. It's ridiculous. He's telling them, I am here. What you're fasting for is only when I ascended, only when I'm gone. Heaven has no marriage. Heaven has no fasting because God is present all over. Okay? The, you cannot add new wine and old wineskin. So the receptacle for the, new, the, new, the good news must be shaped by your fasting, your almsgiving, your abstinence, so that new wine could go into new wineskin. Because if it's still old and the same old attitude and the same old oven, you're not doing anything. Francis says clearly, Pope Francis, it's useless, it's wasteless. It must have better means to go to hell than wasted, useless, fruitless fasting. It is necessary. If God is in our heart, only the soul that is stretched and on fire, God can take God in. So you could be doing all this fasting and giving and say you want to be holy and go in pilgrimage. All those things are good. But if your heart not expandable, not in union, have not been to confession to scrape it, you can't take him in and you can't take the graces in and you can't take the merits in due to him. I close. I went in the ad today and I saw an ad on the yellow pages in New York in 1990. And the ad goes like this. Register for the spa. Deluxe suits, FM radio, beauty, manicure, senior citizen plan, table etiquette plan, exercise wellness plan, daily cow milk, and cookie bar. Come join us. They were advertising for cats. Animal. That's an animal spa. The moral of the story is that a lot of us treat animals treat the ones that we love better than the poor. Jesus is saying today, release the poor, whatever you do in Lent, whatever you give up, or whatever you pick up, must add something to the other, especially when the other has a burden, a yoke, and you're pontificating, and you're looking holy, but you're not lifting a finger to ease their pain and feel their pain. Otherwise, waste of time. Just bow our heads and find out if we are fasting. Some people are not fasting at all. Find out what you're talking about. But the church says for Lent you must fast. You must pray more and you must give almsgiving. It's a tripod. And you must do all together. Change our hearts. We sing. We just open our hands and Ask God to bless us. Sis. We just want to change the interior. And know why we do what we do. Change our hearts, O oh Lord. Make it ever new. Make it ever new. Change my heart. Change my heart, oh You are the potter, and I am clay. You are the potter. I am clay, Lord, and I'm nothing without you. I am the clay. Lord, melt me. Lord, mold me. Lord, fashion me. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Lord, change the interior. Lord, change my intention. Lord, change my attitude towards this season. Let it be a realm. Entry into grace. And whatever I give up in fasting and almsgiving and abstinence will be ordered. Because Isaiah was clever what kind of fasting it is. Hang in your head, lying on sackcloth. Is this the kind of fast that pleases me? No, the fast that 
pleases me is when you break unjust fetters and you undo the thrones of yoke of the poor change hearts change change my heart make it ever new Come that quietly. Lord, we pray for those who have died and Caesar Ramirez, David Reed, and Stephen T. Soon, Phaeton from Point Fourteen, and the Angela Pran, that young baby who have died. So many will die tonight, and when they meet you face to face, there's no need for fasting and abstinence. We pray for healing for Chrissy, for Chris and Gabriella. We pray in Thanksgiving for birthday for Priscilla Mirage. Obasi George, Kariston, Cardinals. Thanksgiving for Simon Decan and Grell James. And all those who are in solidarity, non Christians who are fasting with us, giving up maybe and having one meal a day or maybe one light meal in the morning. And so many giving up, we need to hand over and give over and pick up. Sometimes we treat animals better than humans and we fasten. Sometimes we prefer animals rather than human beings for children. And that's a dissonance. That's a no-no. When Jesus is there, you don't need to fast. Understand why? When the bridegroom is taken away, I will. We pray for those who ask us a prayers. We pray for a mission in Maruga. For many people there who have had no ministry for decades maybe. And we have everything here. We thank God for our media ministry. Who will be exchanging outreach program. Our music ministry. Our ministry ministry. Our migrants ministry going. Lord bless our parish as we give over. And we hand over. Bless our retreat, Lord, our own retreat that it will not only for our own edification and spiritual obesity, but as we get holier and or more in tune with you, we will get into the rhythm of true fasting and almsgiving prayer. You are potter, Lord, and I'm nothing, I'm dust. I am. You are the potter. I am nothing, Lord. You reminded me and I shall say, I am dust. Lord, melt me. Lord, mold me. Lord, shape me. Lord, bruise me. Lord, make me suffer here. But save me from hell. There must have easier ways to go to hell rather than wasteful fasting. sacramentally blessed are you Lord God of all creation Father through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life Blessed be God, sure. Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Jesus, who humbled himself to come and share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, Father, through your goodness, we have received this wine, we of you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. Lord, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Be God, Humble spirit and contrite heart, Lord, may we be acceptable to you. Lord, may our offering, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Lord, cleanse me from all my hypocrisy, hypocrisy and sin.
pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand, for the grace and the glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy church. Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of our Lenten and observance. Lord, help us to know what we do, why we do. Let it be coming from the interior, that we become present to you, that was matters. To find God, that's why we do everything. Lord, pray that it will make us and our intentions pure, keep away from the attention, and make all that we do, see, this Lent, be acceptable to you, and it will add to our powers of self-restraint, self-constraint, and self-control. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, everlasting God, by your gracious gift every year, Lord, your faithful people await the sacred Paschal feast with a Lenten observance of 40 day prayer, fasting, almsgiving, with joys of minds made pure, more eagerly intent on prayer, works of charity for the other, participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, that they may be led to the fullness of grace in this season of grace, that you bestow on your sons and daughters, and now, Father, flood this place with grace, Make our hearts stretch as heaven and earth, angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, and hosts and powers of heaven. We sing the hymn of your glory. Without end, we all now acclaim. Church, can we invite heaven to come, commingle, sing church. Holy, 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 holy God. and God is here, why our eyes over the place and our hands in our pockets? We kneel and we have our hands clasped. Again, we have to know why we do what we do. And this is a moment most sacred and please respect. There must be other ways to go to hell than disrespect and in church and wasteful fasting. Let's do it for the right reason and we will find God. Trust me. Lord, you're holy indeed. And Lord, from the world's beginning, you are ceaselessly at work so that the entire human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Now look, we pray, look upon your people's offering and pray that they may become the body and blood of our beloved sons and daughters in whom we are now called sons and daughters of the kingdom. Father, indeed, we were once lost and we did not know why we do what we do, aimless. We did it for the end. And we could not even approach you, but you were present but you loved us still with the greatest love and for your son who alone is just. He was handed over to death and did not disdain to be nailed to the wood of a cross for our sake and before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant. He desired to celebrate a Passover meal with disciples and he sat and he ate with them and he took bread and he gave thanks and he said a blessing and he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples. And Jesus said, take this all of you. And eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In his presence. 
we acknowledge like Thomas. My Lord, my God, help our disobedience. Lord, help our disrespectful worship. Lord, help our world wrapped with fever of materialism. Again, the disciples didn't understand when God is present. You want nothing. People of God, God is present. Can you bow your bodies minimum? In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing he was about to, act, to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, filled with the fruit of the vine, he handed the chalice over to his disciples. And Jesus said, take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my God, help our unbelief. Lord, thank you for at least a break in COVID and Church, can you bow your bodies and bring all those interior demon and thoughts that we have negative sometimes and switch it automatically into something positive and find God and find his presence and find the reason why we do what we do and find the merit of true fasting and true abstinence, abstinence on Good Friday, Ash Wednesday and every Friday from basic flesh. That's one way. The mystery of faith. To celebrate the memorial of your death, of our son, of your son Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace. Lord, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. We look forward to your blessed coming. We offer you this faithful and merciful God, a sacrificial victim who reconciles to us the entire human race. Lord, look, Father, most kindly, compassionate Father. You see everything, Lord. You see everything from the interior. Man sees from the exterior. Look, Lord, on, on those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son and grant by the power of the Holy Spirit as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every form of human division. Lord, be pleased to keep us always in communion in mind and heart. Together with Francis, the first of all Pope, Charles, Jason, Gordon, our Bishop, Lord, help us to work together in this community for the sake of the poor and the other and the unlovables and the have-nots until the hour we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Pray for us. St. Dominic. Pray for us. St. Dominic. Pray for us. St. Dominic. Pray for us. And all our deceased brothers and sisters, can you recall in your mind, especially those who have died during the COVID period, with or without, who have not had a proper grief management system and or closure, and or funeral, and or burial. We pray for those five guys who have died in our diving ep episode, and families distraught in a manner, and so much allegations. Lord, we humbly commend all those who have died to your mercy. One day, one day, Lord, we have to face you, ashes, naked, all the fasting would have led us to find you. 
and we will sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Jesus Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from the devil. He's fighting for our eternity. And when we fast and we abstain and we pray and we give alms, we go back to that core who we are, a set of distractions and diversions, keeping us away because he wants to distract. He wants to direct. He wants to divert with the materialism and the glory and the honor and the ego and the power. Lord, grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin. Keep us safe from distress and do worry. Bad mind, grudges. Lord, help us to fast from them. It is more pleasing than giving up meat. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Clear, stop comparing me to the disciples of, Je of John. I am Jesus Christ. I am here. Need not fast. In heaven there is no fasting. In heaven have no marriage. Know your feet. Know why you do. Know yourself in your church. Look at our sin. Now look at the fate of this church. Grant peace, unity, in accordance with your will. Where you live forever and ever, Amen. the peace of the Lord be with you always. You. Can you offer somebody a sign of peace? and blood. Never bring us judgment nor condemnation, Lord, through your loving mercy. Lord, protect our mind. Lord, protect our body and be a healing remedy. Help us to fast from grudges and bitterness and bad mind and sadness and anger. Those are the things that matter most to you. Behold him. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof. But only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us all safe for everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Just pour your heads, prepare those who are coming up, those who aren't. Come and get a blessing. Eat and drink, and you will never be hungry from this Eucharistic table.
soul of my Savior, sanctify my breast, body of Christ, be thou my saving grace. Most holy, all praise and all thanksgiving. We just bow our heads for our spiritual communion. Lord, we thank you for you being here with us. Lord, we know you cannot be here with us wherever you are. At least come at least spiritually into our hearts. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament, all praise and all thanksgiving. We just bow our heads and in silence, we just... Our Redeemer lives, and Job had a problem because God took away everything from him. And then Job responded in Scripture, My Redeemer lives. Can we sing that now, church? As those who are online, can you please open your hands as we sing? As we sing, My Redeemer lives. In spite of my Redeemer is present. Told the sun, told the moon to hide. And those online, can you please key in your tradition, key in what you're doing for land, maybe have a conversation with God and our community? Who told the ocean?
journey to find him. But he lives because he woke me up this morning. And because he woke me up this morning, I worship and I tell somebody else. And I will fast to journey to distract, take away all the distraction and the diversions of the ego and the glory and the image and the sensualities that distract and divert. So my redeemer live deep into my the recess of my being. you. Lord, we glorify you in your presence. We know who we are and we know what to do. We will do what pleases you and what is ordered to you. St. Michael, defend us in this day of battle. We are set guard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And with the Lord Prince of the Heaven, you, by the power of God, we cast in the house of Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Almighty God, we pray that through partaking of this sacred mystery, Lord, we may be cleansed of all of our misdeeds, misunderstandings, and misinterpretations of what we do. So as to be pleasing to God, and so that be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll have all our services next week and masses here, but we'll be in Maruga streaming live. Please pray for us and the ministries as we go back out to help somebody in need. Amen? The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son, Holy Spirit. May come down upon you. Remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Mass has ended. Go glorify God with your lives. Thanks. 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 Just remember, you have to pick up Sunday worship. If you have not, please pick it up. Sunday worship is the highest form Christian worship. You can fast from now till the cows come in. If you don't worship on Sunday, pointless and useless. Amen? Amen. Our recessional hymn will be... Vastafar.